Hey everyone, this is Ashley with CT Arena Digitals. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use the silver and gold um, ring overlays in Photoshop. I already have opened the image that I want to use. I already have opened the overlay that I want to use. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and press select, all, edit, copy, go to my photo, edit, paste. Go ahead and resize. I want to make this a little bit of an oval. And I am going to click on my background layer. You can hide this layer if you want, but you don't have to. I'm going to go over to my quick selection tool. And click that. I'm going to go over to select subject. Make sure that they are pretty good and selected, especially where the overlay is going to be. Duplicate your background layer. Create a layer mask. Control I on your keyboard to invert your layer. Click on your overlay. Press Alt on your keyboard and click between the layers. And that, as you can see, that will put it behind her. Um, I obviously want to adjust the overlay because it looks very fake and pasted on right now. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to create a layer mask on the overlay. I'm going to select my brush, um, soft brush. I'm going to do about 19% or 20% opacity. Uh, make sure your black is selected. And I am going to go ahead and just brush off some of that overlay to create some shadow. Um, and you can leave it like this if you want to. I think I'm going to change the um, blending mode to overlay. And then it's not as like vibrant as I want it now. It's not as noticeable. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the overlay layer. And as you can see, that makes it a lot more noticeable. And I like that. Um, you can go ahead and select both of these and merge them together. You'll have to change the blending mode back to overlay again. And put it behind, oops, it's already behind the subject. Um, if you want, you can add blur to this. If you wanted to, press alt, deselect for, if you want to make any adjustments to the overlay, make sure you press alt and make it so it's not behind your subject first. If you wanted to like, <clears throat> change the color of it. You can go up to your hue saturation layer and click colorize. Make sure you click this right here and it'll do it to only your overlay and you could change the color of it if you wanted to, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to delete it. Click back between to put it behind her and that's it. Um, if I wanted to do it, I can do a different one to show you guys. Um, if you don't want to open and copy and paste, you can go up to File, Place Embedded, and let's do this one. Resize. Click on your background layer, select Subject, duplicate the background layer, create a layer mask. Control I, Alt, and click between these layers to put it behind her. And I would probably leave that one um, the way it is for blending mode, but I would still create a layer mask on the overlay. Use a soft black brush at about 20% and brush some of this off right here to make it look more realistic. Flatten, that's it.